All this month, we are journeying through the Bible's book of Psalms with Dr. James Merritt. And today we're gonna to look at Psalm 85. It was written in a time when Israel was released from captivity. They were in the promised land. Everything was going great. And yet they were still praying to be revived. So how does that apply to us in the West today? What is this need for revival? You know, uh, revival is an old fashioned word that's not used very much anymore. And, and I, I think I speak for both our countries, both America and Canada. When I say that, that, that we are desperately in need of revival, and, and let me tell you why. Well, even if you're not spiritual, even if you don't even know much about the Bible, you don't have to be a, a rocket science to figure out, as you, as you get up every morning and you just read the newspaper or you see the headlines every day, something's missing, something's wrong. We all feel like whether we're looking at the environment or we're looking at uh, the culture, or we're looking at violence in the streets, or we're looking at terrorism, or whatever. We all look out and we go, this is not the way this should be. This is not, this is, something's missing. And I believe what is missing is that spiritual element. It is that relationship to God, and not just an ordinary run-of-the-mill humdrum relationship with God, but a vibrant, excited, passionate mm -hmm. relationship with God that works out in our daily living. And that's what revival is. Revival is that new, fresh sense that there is a God up there that loves me and cares about me, but this God wants to live his life through me. He wants people to see himself in me. Mm -hmm. And when that kind of revival comes, and we've seen it happen in, in, around the world, we've seen it happen in our own country. When that kind of revival comes, it affects everything. It affects the schools. It affects the government. It, it affects the culture. It affects the entertainment world. It affects everybody. And so we all need this revival. We need it personally on a daily basis. I believe we can experience revival on a daily basis. We need it corporately in the church. And God knows we need it in, in, in countries, every country around the world. I think it's our only hope. I remember Dr. Adrian Rogers, my mentor, he used to say about America, God is not, not only our only hope, God's our biggest threat. And, and I believe that. And I believe the only real hope for America, for Canada, and for the world is a revival of a, and a spiritual renewal that only God can send. You know, it's a new year. It starts with every one of us having a desire for that, praying for that, seeking God for that. And you talk about this in your book, 52 Weeks to the Psalms. We want to inspire people with a kind of content that you pulled from the Psalms through this book. Yeah, in fact, I would even say to, to, to those you're watching right now, why don't you start off this brand new year with revival in your heart? One way to do that, by sending a love gift to the ministry here, we would love to send you a copy of this book. Thanks so much, Dr. Merritt. You want to get your copy of 52 Weeks to the Psalms, we would love to resource you with it. Just give us a call, 1-800-265-3100. You can also go to crossroads.ca. We'll send it out to you for your best ministry gift. From James Merritt comes an insightful, inspiring, and comforting journey through the Psalms. James, we are so excited that you've partnered with Crossroads to offer your new book, 52 Weeks to the Psalms. Well, I'm honored to be with you as always. And uh, this book is fascinating because in it, you're going to learn how to understand about the provision and the power of God. You're gonna learn how to trust in the approachable presence of God. And most of all, you're gonna be able to grow in your joyful response of God. We're gonna have a great time. As you begin a new year, Crossroads encourages you to embark on weekly readings in the Psalms. To make it easy and most meaningful, we'd like to give you a complimentary copy of this new book, 52 Weeks Through the Psalms, when you make your January gift to support 100 Huntley Street and Crossroads' unique media mission. We're waiting to hear from you, so call now, 1-800-265-3100, or make your donation at crossroads.ca slash donate. And we thank you for your ongoing giving to this ministry. And if you've never given before, boy, we'd sure appreciate you helping us out as we continue to bring hope and healing to right across Canada and the world. And we've got a brand new, hot off the press, new resource called Reach. Absolutely. It's our new magazine, Reach Magazine. So look for that in your mailbox in the coming weeks and days to come. So we're really excited about that. And again, yes, thank you so much to those of you who partner with us, who support us. Some of you might be like, what support? This is a ministry and we do not collect any money from, uh, you won't see commercials on the show. 
It is solely um, supported by partners who believe in this ministry, believe in the work of Crossroads with 100 Huntley Street, our missions department, all of the things that we do in this world. It's because of partners like you. So those of you who are new to the show and uh, would love to join us in really making sure that we are able to spread the good news mm -hmm. of what Jesus is doing in this world, we would love for you to partner with us. Today. And essentially, that's been the theme of the show today. Right. You know, and I, and I was thinking of some of those shocking statistics. Of course, yeah. Quebec has a, a long history uh, within Christianity. 9% just reading the Bible, those under 25. So we're excited about what's happening in La Belle Province, and uh, we want to keep up the good work there. And you know, and then as Robbie was talking, and as I was listening to the interview, and I was just thinking of these things, how important is this book? Mm -hmm. You know, as Robbie says, God wrote a book, let's read it. And I've really come to the conclusion, Maggie, that, that my very, uh, you know, spiritual life depends on reading this book. So I've been going through uh, the Beatitudes and, you know, which Jesus gives these great, you know, sayings, the Sermon of the Mount, you know, things about, you know, where are you storing up your treasures in heaven, not to worry, all those kinds of things. Don't judge others. And it says, therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine, this is Jesus speaking, puts them into practice is like a wise man or woman uh, building his house on the rock the winds came, the storms came, and the house was solid. For those that don't understand and don't apply the words of Jesus, and that can be including those in the church uh, and that know the Lord, or if you don't, you need to get into this book. And, and you know, again, it's intimidating. You know, the 66 books, I don't understand this. Well, take it one book at a time. You know, maybe one of the Gospels or, you know, the book of Acts. And there's so many great, uh, you know, teachings in here. And that's why we exist, is to be able to get the word across. And as Robbie said today, let's keep it simple. Let's do the basics and keep strong as we go in our relationship with him. Absolutely. God uh, brought us to this earth so that we could be his hands and feet, that we could change the world by using his word and his gospel. So I hope that encourages you today. I hope you've been maybe challenged to do something in your community, in your family, in your life to change your existence, to change the surroundings around you. Thanks again for watching today. Have a great day. See you next time. Bye. God bless. Thank you for your ongoing support of Crossroads, a member of the Canadian Council of Christian Charities. You can write to Crossroads, P.O. Box 5100, Burlington, Ontario, L7R 4M2. And there before me was a great multitude that no one could count from every nation, tribe, people, and language standing before the throne and before the Lamb. <laughs>